the time has come. We are at the beach. And not only are we at the beach, but Jeff and Dan from the hometown are out here. They just drove down yesterday to enjoy some Florida sun, some beach flying. The star of this video is gonna be the Parajet Maverick Adam 80. If you missed the last video, I picked up this paramotor. One for Jacqueline to fly and two for myself to fly. But in this video, we're gonna do the first flight on this beautiful little motor. And I wanna give you guys a little bit of details about it before we go for the first flight. So comparing this to my Scout Mobile, the Scout has a Vitarazzi Moster 185. That's 185 cc's of power and displacement. This little guy has 80 cc's. So the deal is it's a lot lighter and a little bit less power. The kind of goal of the Atom 80 is to be really smooth, easy to start, easy to fly, not intimidating, and just sip fuel. This thing sounds like a microwave when it's running. You guys will see when we go for a flight. Other than that, the frame itself is a Parajet Maverick, and it's a frame I have never flown before. I bought this guy not knowing anything about how the frame will handle. I do know that the build quality is superb, and uh, the fit and finish is really, really nice. But as far as handling in the air, I have no idea. So I'm gonna get her started up. We've done the break-in, she's ready to go, and we'll do the first flight here at the beach. Weather right now, it's very calm, so it's kind of a challenging launch. The wind is coming off the ocean right now, but light, so we have to run at the ocean and uh, hopefully not eat it in the seaweed, hopefully not crash into the waves. Jacqueline, how are you? Uh, what's your thoughts on beach flying in the Adam 80 Maverick? It sounds like a lot of fun. Are you gonna fly it after I fly it and make sure it's okay to fly? Probably. Perfect. I'm next. Check this out. Motor's not running. Right hand pull start. Two fingers. There she is. <laughs> She's so delicate. I love it. What a place for a maiden flight of a brand new paramotor. Butternut squash. Oh, like an idiot, I left my phone in my pocket. Better not drop it in the ocean. Just adjusting my harness, I got the rest of the seat board folded out. This guy has like a fat seat board extension that's pretty rad. I looked at the manual and they actually give weight specs. Like, depending on how much you weigh, they tell you where to hook in the carabiners which I've never seen before. Normally it's just a hang check. So I trusted that data and set up my uh, hang point. It feels a little bit far forward, but that's something I can very easily adjust uh, once we get back on the ground. So far, so good, dude. She's freaking cruising. All right, so far, first impressions. Um, the motor's running great. No complaints there. Got my freaking sock tan going on. <laughs> um, as far as the frame goes, it's kind of hard to tell so far because I know I have to move my hang point uh, so that I can sit more comfortably. I'm just tipped forward a little bit right now. But aside from that, it feels really intuitive. Torque is a not issue. Uh, as you guys know, my Scout has the fins on it to aerodynamically compensate for torque. But this guy, uh, has offsets on where the risers clip in to counteract torque. And with this being an 80cc motor, it doesn't have much torque. The padding in the back of this thing is definitely thicker than the Scout. It feels like a comfy sofa. Oh, I gotta risk it for the biscuit. 
taking out the phone. You gotta take a beach selfie or else no one would know you were here. That's a beautiful thumbnail. Now I just have to get the phone back in my pocket. I almost dropped it. Holy shit. Some people might be wondering, paramotors go between pretty much 80 cc's and 280 cc's. Most people fly something somewhere in the middle, like the Boaster 185. There's a good choice for your average six foot, 200 pound guy. An 80 cc though, all it means is you don't have as massive of, as a climb rate. Speaking of climb rate, let's do a climb rate test. Very, very intuitive. I feel comfortable flying this thing. All right, so we're just cruising. I'm gonna roll on to full power. So obviously not Moster 185 power, but still plenty respectable. I would not really like be bored on this motor unless I was trying to do like acro runs all day long. Just for general flying, I'd be happy. We're back for first impressions. The only thing I changed, which I didn't like, was the hang point. And you can see on the arms here, they have adjustments for where your carabiner goes in. A light pilot, you put all the way back. A heavy pilot, you put all the way forward. And that determines the lean angle of your propeller and your, in turn your harness. So I just trusted the manual. So I put it all the way back and I was like falling out the front. So I moved it one step forward and that should get me at a good reclined angle. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Freaking shenanigans. Other than that, everything felt really good. Torque felt nice and neutral. I think when I go to idle, it's trimmed a little bit right to counteract torque. And I noticed that just a little bit. But it's with this 80cc engine, torque's really not a big deal. Motor's running perfect. I checked her out. No leaks, no loose parts, nothing fell off. So we're good there. Um, the wind picked up significantly, so now we got nicer wind to launch and land in. So I'm gonna go up for a little bit longer and buzz around. I'm sure everyone's wondering why isn't Jacqueline flying? Currently, Jacqueline has never flown at the beach and this is a really narrow beach. So you have to be really precise on your landings or you land in the ocean or the mangroves. So Jacqueline, give me your impressions on this uh, site evaluation. Um, it's a really nice beach. It's really pretty. But I'd say that this is probably a solid intermediate pilot site or if you you have your launches and landings like dialed in perfectly and you can spot land and like judge the wind, I'd say that this is a really good spot. But my motor was down for like a month so I haven't flown in a bit and it's a narrow beach. So I'm kind of waiting for the wind to die, maybe switch directions. Because if I can land without landing at the water, I think I'd be a little more confident, but not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah, this beach is really narrow and if the wind's not right, you have to be dialed. Peach Flying 101, don't launch with sticks in your glider. And uh, Peach Flying 102, don't crash into the waves. Look at this, this is gonna be the easiest launch in the world. Let's do one of those dang touch and go things next to the Jackelson. Like a graceful butterfly. I've talked to a bunch of folks uh, that saw us flying. One guy was a subscriber and another couple, they just really liked watching us. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And they are right. 
It is most definitely the coolest thing ever. All right, Jeff is taking the old Maverick Adam 80 for a spin. He's closer to 200 pounds, so we'll see how he, how he likes it. Outstanding, beautiful. Yeah. Like it? Very smooth, Super awesome. Smooth. You can't even feel it running on your back. Yeah. Very nice. It's like a microwave. Yep. But different. <laughs> yeah, the hang point's a little bit, I think it go back a little bit more. If you put your butt right back against the frame, it's good. Yeah. But very comfortable, actually. Yeah, there's so much padding in there. Yeah, excellent. All right, I'm here at Starbucks, just editing this video and I realized I forgot to film an outro. So, concluding thoughts on the Adam 80, I put some more time on it, and overall, I'm really liking it. Motor's running perfectly, not a single issue or hiccup there, and uh, the frame, as far as the adjustments on the harness, I've uh, changed the hang point two steps forward to get it better for my weight, and then also I've loosened some straps on the back, which let the harness slide out better to kind of cut me into the seat. So that's all dialed in and I'm really liking that. Other than that, we're at Aviator now. We're a couple videos ahead and uh, Jacqueline over here is gonna be doing her first flight on the Adam 80 pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Huge thank you to Aviator for all the help with the Adam 80. We'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace. Oh.